Hi, Pastor Bob Nagalski here again, and, and I'm hoping that you're appreciating some of the booklets we read from and everything for your uh, uh, other point of view, amen, for your other, uh, that you would consider other ideas uh, that may help you out, because the truth is uh, what will set you free. We've been talking a lot about lab rats, and lab rat this, lab rat that, and I'm sure you have sense enough to know what a lab rat is, but just in case you don't know, it's a laboratory rat, and it's a common rat. And it's uh, common because they make sure that all the rats are pretty close together the same, so in their experiments, uh, they don't have too many variables when they're dealing with it. And uh, what they use on the lab rats could be the stimulus, or stimuli they call it, it could be um, pain, uh, any of the senses of the rat, it could be the hunger, thirst, um, these kinds of things, uh, and they see how they can manipulate this uh, rat to, to do their bidding. Uh, a lot of times when uh, public school kids are going through high school, they get experiences with uh, mazes and other things like this, and, and uh, you go to maybe psych class 101, you get uh, Pavlov's uh, uh, experiments where he uses a stimuli to make uh, animals, monkeys, and so forth, other things do. Uh, what they're uh, bidded to do and and uh, when we say lab rat we're we're trying to get you to start to think on your own independently and to stop being so influenced uh, by the media in a sense even though this is the media trying to influence in you in a certain direction also we want you to understand that uh, there's facts out there and you need to dig for me don't just take it at, at plain view uh, you buy a car you go to a grocery store uh, their psychology is so advanced now that uh, they got the special music playing in the background. Uh, they put certain things up uh, when you cash out uh, of the uh, grocery stores. Now they know exactly where to place certain items and everything for us uh, to be tempted and, and to do certain things. And uh, it's the same thing with the, the devil and what he does and how he influences. Uh, he uses different stimuli to get us. And uh, it's best as a Christian to understand the uh, whole armor of God and the wiles of the devil or his methods uh, to keep us out of trouble, keep us from sinning and, and uh, getting away from the Lord. Uh, but if you're listening today and you're unsaved, uh, you need to understand that uh, there is some powers out there that are evil and they are working for your destruction. And there are people out there that uh, money's just a tool, but it's not their main power. Uh, they want to be able to influence, they want to be able to... Uh, uh, control and uh, we call this social engineering and this has been going on heavy duty in our country because they know they can't ruin our country from without they have to do it from within and people are losing common sense in our country uh, they're not understanding that bills used to be on a uh, uh, I believe it was a eight and a half by 14 or something these big old legal pads they call them and uh, at one point in history uh, this used to be what a law would fit on, a legal pad. Uh, you could read it, you could understand it, everybody could understand it. Now the laws are like this, they're books. They're books, and nobody's going to read them, they're just passing them. And the same thing with our bills. They're putting bills across and everything and tagging all these different things on the back end of them uh, just after they vote for them. And they're using all these things to uh, take power from us and uh, to eliminate the middle class, they really are, uh, they're making fun of us and doing all these kinds of things and, and they know how to uh, use us like these rats in this thing because they know what's better for us. Uh, they know uh, they want this utopian atmosphere and they want to be the creators of it. And you get like this because uh, you don't believe there's a God. You don't believe there's somebody in control outside of this world. Uh, you go beyond scientific uh, laws because even we know that for every effect there's a cause and uh, they know that if they keep going back far enough there's going to have to be a creator because everything's designed perfectly including your human body and that's why we give you some information on the evolution and so forth so that you see that there's arguments opposed to what you've been brought up with and uh, legal ar arguments and, and scientific arguments and you find out down the road that it's uh, it takes more faith to believe in evolution than it does uh, Jesus Christ and it's the same thing with everything in life now. In our country, we're being used like lab rats. And it, it ought to make you furious. It ought to get you upset. Uh, if you're a liberal, you ought, to, you ought to find out why are the conservatives conservative. Uh, we as conservatives already understand you as a liberal. We already understand what you believe. 
and uh, it's it's matter of fact it's so so easy to understand what you believe and um, so you need to understand what conservatives believe and you need to understand what our forefathers were, were were trying to teach us and why they come up with a constitution and why we have a constitution if you would understand these things the principles that you should have been taught in school but they started eliminating right after the Korean War and then actually the Bible goes out in 1962 and um, if, you, if you really understood what you're missing out on you'd be furious it's almost like and, and we're not Lutheran, uh, definitely, but it's almost like the German people uh, finally figured out that the uh, the bones of the, the apostles uh, couldn't be in the eastern countries and be in Germany too. Uh, the bones of Jesus Christ uh, that died couldn't have been separated in all these different countries, or the, the nails of the cross, I mean, and the splinters of the cross, I mean, finally they saw that this, this religious superstition uh, had robbed them of peace and security and tranquility because they read the scriptures for themselves. And uh, once again, the truth shall set you free. And when they did that, they cried out to God and they asked God for salvation. And when he saved them, good night, uh, rocked all of Europe. But while that was going on, there was many people that didn't believe in that superstition to believe in. And uh, after all, Jesus Christ, if you if you want to consider... Uh, how long this goes back? If you just put around uh, three, th you know, 33 A.D. or something, around that uh, 34 A.D., then then you know when when he finally when he was resurrected and and the, the disciples went and and turned the earth upside down with that new doctrine they call it. Uh, you'd understand that there was a whole lot of Christians before 313 A.D. Uh, when when that type of a deal situation started over there in Rome in 313 AD they were just combining religion and politics they were trying to get a monarchy that was Christian orientated that would compel you to go to church by the sword would make you do th certain things like this and that was never the Christian message never never you have a free will you're able to decide on your own that's the way God created you he made you a reasonable person gave you reason. A monkey can't reason. Other people can't. They go by a stimulus with a, with a banana or an apple. You can teach a lot of things. But you better, better get this together now. It could be very possible that you are the lab rat. That you have been robbed of some vital information that you need to look up and you need to investigate. You need to start acting as a, as a grown-up. As a man or a woman. If you're reading this right now. You need to, you got an internet? Look up this stuff. Make sure it's the very words of our forefathers. Read them, man. Read them. Find out what happened in the history. Find out with, within 200 years of our, our country how many different discoveries and inventions and everything came about because of the light that was in our country. That light was that King James Bible. And because of that light, God uh, uh, illuminated the minds of people. And you need to start getting some, like, like, uh, Washington Carver, you need to get some good black intellectual people uh, and you're going to find out the root of their faith is the Lord Jesus Christ and they had many, many inventions that were good, many, uh, have many good families because of that book. And for you being robbed of the Bible, they robbed your soul and they're taking the constitution of our country away, they're robbing your real liberty, your private property. Your, your will, your alienate, your, I'm telling you, your God-given rights. Don't sit down and roll over. Stop being a lab rat. Stop being in the maze that they make the rules. Understand that you have a freedom right now. Use it to get information. Knowledge is power. Thank you.